Hey guys, welcome in or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany bringing you another makeup look. Uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video out. Thank you for tuning back in to, you know, another video from your girl because I know it's kind of hard, you know. Not seeing me, not playing, but thank y'all for tuning in to yet another video. And let's go ahead and get right into the look. Okay, here you go. <laughs> She's freaking crazy. But okay, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So, ah. okay, guys, so getting started, I'm gonna take my favorite primer, my Maybelline Master Primer, and I'm gonna put that all over my face, rub that into the skin so we have a nice and even canvas. Next, I'm going to be grabbing my um, Wet n Wild Eyebrow Pencil. It's a basic eyebrow pencil, but I believe it's in dark brown. And I'm going to be just doing these brows, honey, okay, getting it all set and done. Moving into concealer, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and I do believe this is in the shade 10, and y'all know I'm a finger gal when it comes to patting out these eye concealers, so... I'm going to just start patting out this concealer with my ring finger. Y'all, so I placed down the first shade from that Amethyst palette. And I was shook if, like, these pigments really, like, shook me for sure. Like, I love Huda Beauty palettes. So, I definitely recommend this for all my pink and purple girls who love, you know, just that palette and the shade ranges that are in there. So, I started with the first shade and it was beautiful. So right here, I'm just going to be focusing on buffing out that first shade that we set down. And then I did move into a darker pink shade that was in the palette. Kind of like a mauve pink shade, but it gave off the right pigment. It's so pretty, y'all. Uh, like, I really suggest you test out, um, test out this palette. Um, picking it up on a smaller um, kind of like a pack of brush and just building up that shade in the crease and then of course buffing it out taking this rose gold pink shimmer shade from the palette I'm going to be applying that with my fingers in the center of my eyelid and I was only going to focus it in the center but then I began to spread it out so it became kind of like a over eye lid like you know the whole lid type of shimmer over the whole lid so that's what I ended up doing Notice I did not conceal my brows after I finished them so I went ahead and concealed my brows which is this is like a backwards thing I don't know why I did brows didn't finish them then jumped into eyes but hey I was feeling something different today so I'm just taking my radiant cream concealer by NARS and Amand and putting that on then going in with my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation and guys, I actually took two different foundations. I took the Maybelline Dream Matte Foundation and I also took Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I mixed those together and I feel like 
he gave me the perfect shade, like the perfect shade. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm taking that all on a real technique sponge and blending that into the skin. Moving right into my concealer. This is going to be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the Mond. You gotta say it like that for some reason, but you know, a cinnamon. And I'm gonna be putting that, of course, everywhere I conceal, under my eyes, my cupid scroll, down my nose, forehead, and chin. In my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm going to be blending out my concealer that I placed down. And I did not show this part because the clip was so short, but I did set my concealer with Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. So that's what I did. Then moved into the um, Trio Stick, and I think it's the dark or the deep Trio Stick, the darkest one. And I'm using Expresso to contour, and then of course buffing that all in with my sponge again. contour kit I don't know but I'm gonna be taking the powder out of that and I'm using the darkest one and I'm just setting that down of course over my contour so we can get it snatched a little bit more into blush i'm gonna be taking my elf blush palette y'all i love this palette i don't know and i'm just really starting to feel blushes more so i think i'm gonna start picking up more blushes because they are just so bomb it just made my cheeks so rosy and pretty and pink again so i'm gonna be going to do that then i went ahead and i set my face with my mac dark deepest or deep dark it's one of the two <laughs> um finishing powders and just tap that off over the skin so it could be a cohesive look and bring everything together then i went in with my cinnamon um highlighter and this is by fenty it also came in like that trio contour concealer with a highlighter so i use that as well for my highlighter but right now i'm using that amethyst palette and going in with the shades that i put on my lid and just putting that under my eye and also using mascara so of course we got to make that look come together so i wasn't going to miss that bottom lash line espresso lip liner i'm gonna be popping that on and then taking my favorite nude lipstick by mac it's in velvet teddy putting that on and then popping on some fenty beauty fenty glow gloss yeah this is one of my favorite glosses at the moment like you can't tell me nothing about this gloss so yeah go try it out sis So this is going to be 
the final look, we went ahead and just picked up and started playing with this Huda Beauty Amethyst palette here. I really like the palette. Um, and this was a present from me, Madre. So thank you, Madre. Um, I love it. I really like the colors in here. If you're like a pinky purple girl, this is definitely a palette for you. And it's, it's really pigmented. So other than that, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. But you know, you know, I can't leave without telling you to subscribe. I can't leave without telling you to like. I can't leave without telling you to comment, share the video out. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any more updates or videos from your girl. And I can't leave without my slow-mo. So let's go ahead and get into the slow-mos. 